This is a very quick video of repeat only control. And in this video, what I want to go over is controller gain, KC, bias, C hat, and error, ET. So right now we're just going to do P only control. So that's P action. And then we're not going to include I action, which is integral action, or derivative action. So we're only going to look at the green components of this equation. This is the PID control equation. So let's get started by looking at this tank. Now what we want to do is control the level of the tank by controlling the water flow out of the tank. So we have two streams coming into the tank, stream A and stream B, and we want to control just the outward flow to control the level of the tank. We cannot control A or B. Those are set, we don't want to touch them. We only want to focus in on the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the flow out of the tank. So let's just start the program and what I want to point out first is this green line right here is the level of the tank now right now you don't see it really but there's this orange dotted line that's the set point of the tank and that's where we set right here so we can set the level of the tank or the set point of it by percent empty so right now we want the tank 50 percent empty so our set point is equal to the actual level of the tank so we have zero error now if we were to start the pumps turning on, start flowing, or start the pumps, we'll start all the pumps, and the valve will turn on the valve. Now you notice nothing's changing. That's because our bias is perfect. We have perfect bias, which is 4.91% open. In this scenario, when you have the uh, valve at 4.91% open, you do not have any error generated. Now that's only in this situation. That's only in this situation. If we were to change anything, we will have error generated. So if we were to change the set point to maybe 70% empty, 70% empty, while doing a step change, what we see is this error generated. So it goes up to 0.2, and it's slowly going down. So what is happening in our equation? Well, we have the percent valve being open is equal to the bias, which is 4.91% plus KC, the controller gain, which we can make it any number if we want, times the error generated. So right now we have the error times 20 plus the bias will affect the percent the valve is open. So what we see is we need the valve to be open a lot more, a lot more for our tank to empty. So it needs to be open see let's fast forward just a little it needs to be a little bit more open than probably needs to be around six percent open the valve needs to be six percent open for it to reach our set point notice it doesn't actually reach our set point we get this offset now the reason we get the offset is because proportional control needs error to have to make an adjustment you always have to have error for adjustments so what we can do to decrease this offset is by increasing KC because we're multiplying the error, the difference, the difference between the offset and the proportion to get, <clears throat> excuse me, to try to get it to our set point. So if we were to increase the controller gain to maybe um, 40, you'll notice it will go up just a little more and it will decrease the offset. The offset is the difference again between the tank level and the set point. And you see it gets closer, but it's still, there's still error generated. So for the most part, when you have controller gain, you almost always have error. You'll never get your actual set point unless it's on the bias. So if we were to go back to 50%, it'll go, hopefully, it'll hit our, our set point. But that's because we had perfect bias. And that only works when we have the tank at 50% open or 50% empty and we have a flow rate of 3 liters into the system. That's the only time when the bias is 4.91% we would get a uh, get zero error. Hopefully that's not not too complicated. Let me go through it really quick. Let's just look let's look at what happens if we change the scenarios scenarios around. Let's say um stop the program, clear all the graphs, turn on all the pumps. Let's say instead now we have a flow rate of 2 and we were to fast forward it. Now before, 
we didn't have any error. So the bias has to change to account for the new flow rate n. We now have four liters flowing in versus three. Or if we were to have zero, or just turn off the pump. So now if the pump is, or yeah, if that pump is off, our, our, our system doesn't work, we still get error. We still get that error generated. So that's because the bias only works at certain scenarios. So with P only control, I guess the big things are, you need to know what your bias is. And the bias is, what will the tank most likely be at most of the time? So if you always have your tank at 50% full, you want your bias to be the number you need it to be at, to be for the tank to stay at the level you want. I hope that makes sense. Uh, the level you want for it to be 50% full. So we have to change the bias for our new scenario. Right now we only have two liters in, so we have to change it. So you can see you can't just set the bias all the time to make your uh, your valve work perfectly because so many scenarios change change. So since we can't really change the bias too much, what they do is they add the integral action. And the integral action actually gets rid of the uh, offset. But the problem with the integral action is it actually adds in um, oscillations. And I'll talk about that in the next video.